Roll bet. I'm back. I'm back. Hold up. Hold up. Uh, did anyone have any uh, any questions before I got into the uh, subject matter of tonight? No. Uh, what's the, what's the subject matter tonight? Uh, subject matter tonight is uh, mother mitochondria. Mother mitochondria. Yeah. Uh, can I get a little explanation on that? Okay. I'm glad you got it. Mother mitochondria is just going into the first being on existence, meaning the first being of, of physical existence on this planet. When you say mother, when you say mother mitochondria, you're saying you're, you're actually going back to the, the Og Dads, the Eight Og Dads, or the Dogons, or the Namos of, of Mali. Those are neutral gender beings because the first people on the planet were actually neutral gender, meaning that when they gave birth, they gave birth to what's what we know now as as an egg, and reason why also why I named this class Mother Mitochondria is because mitochondria DNA passes on from the mother to the daughter, not mother to son. In terms of birth, uh, dealing with the family is concerned. There's a reason for that. That's why when a woman gives birth, they, they or, or, or they split, at some point women didn't need, they only needed a certain amount of sperm cell in order to actually germinate a child in their womb, because right now in actuality, women actually own, women actually is the dominant of what it takes to make a child in her womb. It's actually seventy percent of that sperm cell comes from the woman. Only thirty percent comes from the man at this point in time. Even though still to this day, without having male sperm, you still won't have a child. But there are still some cases where a woman is given birth in, in very few instances without male sperm. But that's, you know, that's usually based on documentation that you may find online, but so on and so forth. But if you go back, I'm not sure if you've ever read a book written by my father, Dr. York, called uh, The Black Book but he breaks down something called the bubble urethral gland or the urethral gland, which is something that gave off a secretion and gave that that sperm cell, which allowed her at a specific point in time to give birth without the aid of male sperm. And, again, going back to the reason why we say, again, mother mother country, because we're, we're taking it back to the, the point of noon. Uh, where it was neutral gender. Because if you go back to the black book, it was split into eight, male and female, male and female, male and female, you know, Amon, Amonet, Nun, Nunet, Kek, 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 and I'm just names for examples. But new information that has been revealed over the last several years shows that they weren't separate male and female beings, but they were actually neutral gender beings. And this this is where mother mitochondria starts because at that moment you have to remember as well, in the womb of a, of a woman, at a certain point of gestation period, the first three months, there's no telling what that child will be. In reality, that first stage, the first three stages, literally that, that child is a is a female child. But at some point, depending on certain circumstances, it may stay a female child or it may go into a male situation or, you know, go from female to male. But usually when people mention mother mitochondria automatically, they, they go back in terms of Lucy, which goes back to Ethiopia over several million years ago. But we're going back to a, a nun where these were beings that were neutral gender that evolved out of the water. This goes back to the time of Anun or Nun or Tanun, where they evolved out of water from, from a germinated state. Let me say it again. From a germinated state, they evolved from the water. And these were what we know now as reptilians, you know, not Dracos, not negative ones, but, you know, positive ones that evolved out of the water. 
you know, and they they were germinated here, and these germs before they became reptilians was was transplanted here, coming from the other side of the sun, you know, coming from where we are right now was at the 18th galaxy, which we know as the Milky Way. They came from that 19th galaxy, known as Ichim, in the Black Book or Iliun in Arabic. Does that answer your question? Let me know if it, if it doesn't. That pretty much states, states a lot, but okay, as a reference as, you, as a woman giving birth, uh, mm-hmm. I want to state something that's like the woman, I know she has the X chromosome or we got the Y chromosome, mm-hmm. and and uh, she like, as you, can, as you break it down for me, though, just, just reading and studying, as you break it down, as in like, she is like, um, she's like a, like a goddess, but we put it not saying that we was first, but she was first because she was able to give birth and birth certain right. things like the Mother Earth right. and and yeah. stuff like that, et cetera, et cetera. And um, and is it okay? Let me see. But we that, we came through her. Male yeah, we came through her. her. Yeah, exactly. Right, exactly, exactly, exactly. When you're dealing with X. X chromosome, two a woman makes up two X's and a male makes yeah, up X's. Yeah, we got we got two we got X and Y or something like that. Right, exactly. Yeah, right. So, okay. we're, we're the right. We're like the they're two X's and we're one X and one Y. Yeah, and that 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 breaks off. If we had that extra X, it would just it, it would be two women. It would be two women. Yeah, exactly. That, exactly. It, right, and this is this isn't to put any you know, any being over the other, any entity over the other. This is just giving you a blueprint of where uh, women start and where men start. We, at the end of the day, we came through her. Yeah. Day as well, we're still, it's, it's still all about equality because yeah. right reason, right now is, is all about the ultimate equalizer. No one is over the other. Just because we may have came through her and she gave birth to us, and, you know, dealing with the bowl of urethra gland and the mitochondria and everything does not mean that we're inferior to anybody. Yes. Yeah. You know, because people might read this and hear this and think, oh, man, I'm a god, I'm a goddess, so I'm better. You no. Know? You mm-hmm. to this day and me to this day, we still need each other to become equal, to still be yeah. God. Woman is, we will say woman is God. He's also God is, man is still God because at the end of the day, he has his purpose, he has her purpose. Mm-hmm. You know that, and that has to be overstood. If not, people will run and create ideologies where one dominates the other, which is which which becomes total incorrect information. Yeah, you know? that's true. But yeah, it has to be. We have to get have to have a, a foundation set up to know exactly how far she goes back and how far a man goes back, because we if you want. Again, we could take it to Atum and Mutt, where Atum mm-hmm. and Mutt was on the next level. They were on the ninth state where Atum gave a divine ejaculation of black gold, and that and that black gold became hardened into what you know now as the black stone in in Iraq in the in the Kaaba. Mm-hmm. You understand, and that and that is what you know. As we all know, that's 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 a ritual in Islam that you know that that signifies your shahada coming into Islam. But they kiss that black stone where they only see it as a product of Adam. The actuality is a product of Atum and Mut and a, and a divine ejaculation on the ninth level, going out or, or the ninth gate, going, going on the other side of existence. Okay. So in actuality, still on that same, on the next level, you still have duality. But dealing with this earthly realm, which at one point was known as Tarnunna, we still say Tarnunna to this day, because Earth really is the name of the planet. It's just the name of what you're standing on. You're still okay. dealing with a time or Anun, the time of Nun or Nunre or Anunre, where you had neutral gender beings that were able to give birth based upon the mitochondria, based upon a bone urethral gland, and the way they ended up doing what we know as a daughter cell, which what we know based on science is splits the atom 
and, it, and, it, and what, what it is, it's, it's like it's like a paradigm of science. They split instead of having to having to have someone ejaculate inside of you. It's able to split. So that would be one of the, those, those are the, the three ways. It, I'm sure there's more, but those would be the three ways that woman was able at a specific time to give birth. Those specific situations at this point in time is necessary to know about, but at the end of the day, again, this has to be stressed and specified that male and female, in order to be God, need each other. Yeah. And that's 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 the reality. But yeah, this was this was necessary to know, you know, just to have a a basis for where this information or alphamation I should say goes back to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And to, for reference and like we had to keep we had to keep had to keep had to keep her grounded and protect her too at the same time from my outlook. So, so you know, what I'm saying, cause other, other, other disagreeable beings can enter inside her, through her womb and stuff. You know, as in six eater forces, you know, and 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 and, and can it, just like she get with a six eater force, or you know, what I'm saying, or, or how we, how we put it, white man, or however, or, or, or Tamahu, or however, but and you had to keep keep her grounded and keep her from. From these these disagreeable beings and stuff entering into her womb, through her womb, and stuff. Right. And I can, right. as I'm trying to put it in, in a certain reference, and um, um, what else? I? That's true. That's true because the time of gestation, and just even the time of just a ch- an entity or a child being into her womb, uh, she's very open, you know, especially yeah. even. During her, her monthly cycle, they're very open and they they begin to shape shift. And in that time of shape shifting, they're very open to different etheric forces that come through her. Yeah. And so, okay. as as man, God, we have to be able to protect her from these situations. Yeah, exactly. You know, you know, and and that that is in turn when two people are are grounded on psychic self. That's, that's not already. There, then you're gonna have a problem. Yeah. That yeah, you had a, made a great point on that, brother. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. That's 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 pretty that's pretty deep. That's pretty deep. Good, good right knowledge right now. And you yeah. say you say you you say you coming from the black book. Yeah, this information that I talked about as far as mother mother mitochondria. Um, this, that's the that's the foundation of when it was first started was in that black book chapter one part okay. one. Okay, okay. I had to, I, I need I had to get this from. Okay. Mm-hmm. Very hard to find. I tell you that now, as let you know, it's very hard to find right now. Yes, I um I talked to a brother in um I think it was the Cornerstone Egyptian Market. See, I'm I'm in I'm in Atlanta, so the Cornerstone Egyptian Market. I think he had that book, but. I think it's like it's. I, I know it's outdated, but it's, they want like top dollar thing, like a hundred and fifty for the book or something like that. Right. Yeah, they want. Yeah. Yeah. 